Let's quickly have a look at how to set git bash as a default integrated terminal in VS Code. By default, VS Code comes with PowerShell as a default terminal if you are on Windows. Let's change that and set git bash instead. First, you have to make sure that you have git installed on your machine. To check if you have git installed, open up a command line and type in git dash dash version. If you don't have git installed, go over to this website, download and then install it. Back to VS Code, there are several ways we can integrate git bash as a default terminal. The easiest way is to press down Ctrl Shift P and type in select default profile. The dropdown includes every shell that is installed in your system that VS Code was able to detect. Now simply select git bash and open up a new terminal by pressing down Ctrl Shift tilde to check if git bash opens up as a default terminal. And it does. Great. Another way to select a default terminal is to open up a new terminal by pressing down Ctrl Shift tilde and next to the big plus sign, click on the drop down and select default profile. From this drop down, select git bash and you're all set. You have to delete the actual terminal and open up a new one. And as you can see, it works. If none of this works for you, there is a third way. Press down Ctrl Shift P and type in open settings and open the settings.json file. At the end of this file, add these lines of code. I'm just gonna copy paste them. All right. First of all, make sure that the path to your uh, kit folder is correct. Then save the file and open up a new terminal by pressing down Control shift tilde to make sure that the git bash is the default one and it is that's all i hope you found this video helpful happy coding and i'll see you in the next one